Last fall, our project was to design a commercial space, and we visited Rocky Mount, um, and Ian, the urban planner there, was telling us how he wanted to um, rebuild the downtown and get ev everyone in the community involved again, including uh, the people who use the train station, so there's a lot of coming and going. So he showed us four commercial buildings that aren't really being used anymore for anything really useful. And so we visited the sites, and one was a bus station, a uh, old bank, Tau Town, and a post office. And so we got to see what the buildings were like inside, and then we, our class was able to choose which building we wanted to renovate and turn into a commercial space that would help the downtown of Rocky Mount. This is the third collaboration between the Downtown Development Office of Rocky Mount and, and ECU, Interior Design Students. And what it really brings for Rocky Mount is youthful energy, a kind of a clear, uh, you know, a, a, a clear-headed vision of, wh of what can be. Um, oftentimes one of the problems that we have is that people don't understand what the vision is and can only see a building that's, you know, down on its luck. But what, these, what this work shows and, and what these young people have been able to convey in their work is that these buildings are very exciting. They're not only beautiful and historically interesting, they also they, they lend themselves to amazing, exciting 21st century urban spaces. And so I think from, from the city's end, we, we've gotten amazing, you know, some amazing product and some, some very exciting energy. And uh, on the end of the university, I think it's a collaboration because these students are able to come in look at a, an interesting downtown area that's clearly suffered disinvestment but is doing everything it can to plan for and move forward with, with the assets that we have. The, the owner's vision for, for the bank building um, is a computer learning center. Um, you know, he realizes that there, there are a lot of IS needs but there isn't so much training. And so his vision was the, the computer learning center on the ground floor in a residential unit upstairs. What, what the student did in this case was they said, well, computer learning center is exciting, but having a cafe, a cool, chic cafe, coupled with the le learning center, it'll make it a lot more interesting. People will want to hang out there. They'll come in and it'll, it'll create for an interesting space. And interesting My project building. was the old bank building. Um, I actually was one of the I was the only person who chose to do this building, and I was one of the only people who actually got to work with the owner of the building, Michael Smith. Um, he was really enthusiastic about the project and a really a great pleasure to work with. Um, my theme for the building was based off of his what he wanted to turn the building into. He wanted to do a computer um, learning center. My team's project was to renovate the old bus station. And Ian, the urban planner, originally wanted a farmer's market or something along the lines of um, maybe using the produce in the area, so really taking the, the, uh, the, cult, the community around and using it in the space. And so I decided to turn it into a restaurant. And my concept was basically the, the wonders of the earth that are always happening and um, how the earth acts as a mother throughout just like by nurturing and constantly reviving the earth. So not only in my interior did I want to have it really sustainable and eco-friendly, but I wanted um, the restaurant to serve as a really eco-friendly place as well. The project that my group chose to work on was the old Rocky Mount Post Office, and the biggest challenge with this was the fact that Ian didn't have any specific goal that we, he wanted for the space, so we could kind of pick anything that we wanted. The concept that I came up with was cultural connection and my biggest goal was to kind of bring all the cultures of the area together. Um, as far as artists, poets, musicians, any kind of performer could come and work in my space. Present the town. Downtowns are usually very unique spaces and depending what state you're in or what town, they all look very different because they're historic. They don't look like strip malls that are going up, you know, after trees have been torn down. So the architectural is uh, unique and also this, what the spaces are used for, whether, like Anna was saying, the boutique or the restaurant takes on form of 
the area in which the downtown is in. So for downtown Rocky Mount, for example, to represent Rocky Mount, North Carolina is important. And so having the space unique is what brings visitors. It, and it's an exciting trend in Main Street and, and downtown revitalization. And that's something that, that's very important for this community because we've, we've largely turned our back on the downtown. Most people shop at the mall in the outlying area. We, we want them to come back. And you know, you go to places like New Bern and Asheville, these are places that 30 years ago, people, people had left their downtowns for dead. And now if you go to these places, they're bustling, they're amazing, they're full of restaurants, cute stores, the, you know, the residential lofts upstairs. Really, ex they're exciting places to be. People want to be there. And people are gonna wanna be here um, and we've got a number of different projects going on. You know, a, a six million dollar streetscape project's about to break ground. We've got a nine million dollar, our Douglas Block project is under construction, will be finished in December. And as, as the demand grows to come back downtown, as it makes more sense, we're gonna be poised to have that growth and to have people come and make this wonderful downtown.